Hi, Mike Jacoby, proud member of the club at Crazy Horse Ranch with an old friend, the director of golf here, Holly Jurgens. Miss Holly, it's great to see you. Good to see you, Mikey. How you doing? I am doing well. Good. Now, uh, this is a bit of a homecoming for you. Absolutely. I was over at Pebble for 10 years and proudly came back. And then you were here for 11 years prior to that. So I, uh, it's delightful to see you back. Thank you so much. Because on behalf of, of the members, we've missed you. Oh, I'm honored to be here. Thank that you. having been said, it must have been a very pleasant surprise coming up the driveway. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you come into our entrance now, you have that awesome horse right there with all the flowers and, and start to come in. Well, there's there's another, either he's here as well, or there's another horse. There's another I, horse. I think Don Chapin <laughs> and the boys have a sculptor on retainer, but the horses are beautiful, and there's a couple of them, and you need to Absolutely. see them. Uh, some of the other changes, uh, a lot of cosmetic and uh, rebuilding is going oh, on. Oh, absolutely. We have fountains now surrounding the clubhouse. Uh, you go walking into what is now the Saddle Club. Spectacular. Uh, the bar is phenomenal. The restaurant's beautiful. Just takes you right out onto the 18th green. It's it's very well done. And we've uh, redone the pro shop as well. It is done. Uh, beautiful rock work. Fully stocked. Anything you want to get, you've got in there. One of the other things that is quite marvelous, and uh, admittedly I had to look this up, the word pergola, which means an outside <laughs> structure, yeah. not a, a Latin triangle. But what a great, what a great facility! You know what it's in, it's done for us now is we're able to have celebrations of life. We're able to have weddings out there. Um, it's it's really brought in another avenue for the club that's just been phenomenal. Well, one of the things that hasn't changed uh, from a golf standpoint, the greens are still spectacular, Fast. as good as any greens you will yeah, find Yeah, we're anywhere. always trying to keep them around 11 to 13. Yeah. Yeah. But there has been a change uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the 10th tee. Right. Tell me about the new tee. You know, they framed out this hole that at one time was completely just a straightaway hole. Now you, you tee off and you have the Santa Lucia Mountains in the background. The hill comes off the right, so it really frames your tee shot beautifully. And uh, it gives you a whole nother look at that hole. Well, I'll tell you what. I know you actually work for a living, so I'll let you get back to that. I do. I'm yeah, going to go play the 10th great. hole, and you can talk us fan. through it and get the folks to see it. Go get them. Good Have seeing fun. you. Thank you. Hitting off the new 10th tee here at the club at Crazy Horse Ranch, one has a couple of options. Try to draw the ball, hit a little bit of a hook off the tee, hence hitting into our hill. That will kick you forward and get you down on the flat in front of Little Bear Creek. Mike now has a chance to go for it in two. For an eagle or a potential birdie. So Mike has found the bunker. Now what he needs to do is open up his stance, open up the club face a bit, and focus on that spot behind the ball that he wants to hit. This will allow him to hit it out softly. Now Mike has a birdie putt, which for our greens here at the club at Crazy Horse Ranch proved to be challenging, fast, and very true. 